Lena Hagen, en popikon som med sin frustrande altröst har pendlat mellan råaste skrik och arjor. Riktigt säger att hon som nioåring tänkte satsa på opera, men istället så blev hon ju sena 70-talets självklara poppunkdrottning. Hagen föddes i Östtyskland, emigrerade till Västtyskland mitt under kalla kriget, hängde sedan i London med punkbandet Sex Pistols och landade så småningom i New Yorks klubbkretsar på 80-talet, något som också hörs tydligt i hennes musik. Nina Hagen är lika känd för sin utmanande scenpersonlighet som sin konst. På senare år så har hon tagit till sig den kristna tron och gjort bokslut över sitt liv med självbiografin Bekännelser. Ja, nu står vi här med Nina Hagen. Welcome Nina Hagen. Dankeschön. Well, we heard just when we saw the reportage here, it's from punk rock to hallelujah. What made you really write this book? The, the book I wrote because um, so many people were making always fun of me and, and calling me bad names. And I just wanted to, to let them know me a little better. Like everybody in Sweden knows uh, Pippi Lotta, Pippi Langstrumpf, and the book from Astrid Lindgren. And, um, and people in Sweden know, know my music, mm -hmm. but they, they don't know who's my father, who's my mother, mm -hmm. how was my childhood, why do I believe in God? Yeah, because when I read this book, it's a lot about your relation to Jesus. And yeah. I really feel you have a message. Do so, you want to, like, it's the, a mission? All my life yeah. already. If you listen to my songs, mm -hmm. already in the 80s, I sang the Lord's Prayer, I sang Spirit in the Sky, I sang on my first English language album, uh, Boring Six Sacks, I sing I Believe in Jesus, mm -hmm. I Preach It Loud and Stark. But did people get, you know, they and were... And people never listen. And now they listen, in now the they 80s, react. In the 80s, on that album in America, I had American management, I was on promotion tour, I told every journalist that Jesus Christ is my manager. And, and, my, they, and they got so upset that they kicked me out of the record company. I said, no, we don't want uh, a Christian, Nina Hagen. We want, uh, yeah. But um, so the I, story... just, I just took an, another management, another record company, and I went my way. Would you say this is your uh, most important piece of work, more important than your music, this book and you've written now? Oh, uh, I don't want to call my work important. I'm just a human being. But why I, isn't it important? Well, it is important in a way that people know me. Because people have so many preconceptions about me. And I work, I really work for charity uh, most of the time. Mm -hmm. I finish a new album, of course. Mm -hmm. A new German language album. I made, last year I made the English uh, language all traditional gospel, gospel. album. And um, but I, I'm uh, the patroness and the ambassador of many uh, mm. children charities. Thank you, Nina. Just say goodbye and stay with us. Thank you. Okay.